Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we're going to take a look at our Rhinorack Nautic side loading and clamp on kayak and stand up paddleboard carrier here on our 2017 Toyota RAV4. So this is a saddle style carrier. So compared to a J style carrier where your board or your kayak will be sitting on its side, here it is lying flat on your crossbars or rather on the saddles. I personally like this if I want to take care of my paddle board because then it is supported. It's kind of a custom fit around it and I think it makes for a more comfortable ride for the board or for the kayak. So this kayak care or board care includes the tie down straps used to tie this board down as well as bow and stern straps. I also recommend picking up maybe the e-trailer tie down kit because those come with dog bones that make it super easy to tie things down or just to use a hook to grab it or to use it to grab the frame. Another thing I suggest taking a look at is this Moki doorstep. I use it just to give myself a little extra height. With this being a RAV4, a little bit taller than the sedans I'm used to using, this is very helpful when you're on the shorter side like me. So here we have our stand-up paddleboard tied down. We use the cam buckles and these cam buckles have a rubber padding around them. So that way you get the strength of that metal cam buckle holding this board down. But then you also have that rubber which is touching our board as well will touch your kayak and you want to make sure that's on there that way you prevent extra scuffs and scratches on your kayak or board during transport and also before you get out onto the road this says must tie down kayak front and rear which means please put your bow and stern straps on before you drive away even if you have a paddle board we also have some straps that are ideal for paddle boards we have them here at e-trailer underneath the rhino rack anchor kit which goes into your hood and that's going to help you out as you're on the road now depending on your kayak or your stand-up paddle board if it is on the longer side please make sure that whenever you open your hatch on vehicles that have hatches that you are mindful of that clearance so that we can take a closer look here at our cradles let's take off our board so notice how i just need to loosen up my straps i have them mounted to my crossbars just to give myself a little bit of extra strength there and then we'll take both straps off so before we take this board off notice how our saddles curve around the shape of our board that's nice because it creates almost a custom fit around the board and you can see how it holds it up so that it's not resting on the crossbars so usually when I use side loading kayak carriers, I use it with smaller vehicles like a sedan, which is lower to the ground. And since I'm kind of on the short side here for a RAV4, I can't really reach our paddleboard from the ground. So I got Brad here to help me out and explain the process. Sure thing. So when taking my paddleboard off, what I'm gonna do here is kind of drag it towards me. And that way I can use these as kind of leverage to pivot it down. And you can walk the way down, the rubber kind of holds it into place, but I can get my board off and I can be paddling. So with the board off, we can take a closer look here at our cradles. Notice how our cradles pivot back and forth. So when you're ready to load your board or your kayak, you just bring it towards the front. That will make it easier to slide it up, over, and then into the holding position these cradles the pads are long and wide and they're made of a soft six millimeter thick santaprene rubber material so notice how it flexes to accommodate the shape of your hole now the side loading feature is helpful for our rav4 since we have our crossbar sitting kind of closer to the front of our vehicle or of our rails so if we did the, if we use the rear loading cradles, we'd actually have a large or a long angle that we'd have to go at before it goes onto our crossbars. So here it's right at the edge. You just need to make sure you get it up and over with the side loading cross, uh, kayak carriers. So now we'll take some measurements just to see how this fits on our RAV4. So from the top of our roof to the top of the carrier, it sits at 10 and a half inches. So that's how high it's going to sit on your roof. 
Of course, this will change a little bit depending on what kind of crossbars you have on your rails, but that's a pretty good estimate of the clearance you're gonna have to work with. Now for your clearance below your crossbars, since we do have clamps, these are low profile clamps, but they do take up a little bit of space. So we're gonna measure from our roof to the bottom of the clamps, and that's gonna be a three inch clearance. Now as for how this fits on your crossbars, you can move these side to side depending on the width of your kayak or the width of your board. Now on your RAV4, you kind of have a narrower roof compared to larger SUVs. So it's safe to say that you can only carry one kayak or one board with this style of a carrier. You may be able to push it a little bit to the side, but you're still gonna limit your bar space and you probably won't be able to carry another bike rack or a box on there. So my final thoughts about the Ryan Arachnotic carriers is I do like how the side loading works here on our RAV4. I'm kind of on the shorter side, so I wasn't able to fully utilize that side loading feature, but I think it would be more preferable compared to maybe the rear loading on this car. Now this does make or take up a fair amount of my bar space, so you can see here on the RAV4, I'm only able to carry around one kayak and I can't carry around a bike rack or a roof box as well. So that's just something to think about. If you wanna carry more kayaks, you might wanna check out our J-Style carriers, like the E-Trailer J-Style carrier. That's a good option for fully utilizing your crossbars to carry more. But all in all, I think this did really, really well with our stand-up paddleboard. It held it well. It kept it above the crossbars and I was able to tie it down or strap it down securely. And that was a look here at our Rhino Nautic side loading and clamp on Santa Paddleboard and Kayak Carrier here on our 2017 Toyota RAV4. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoyed the journey.